The U.S. Navy has existed longer than the country itself. The branch was established in August 1775 and re-established in 1794 during the French Revolution. The technology behind naval ships rapidly advanced in the coming years. During the American Civil War, the USS Housatonic was a marvel of marine innovation. In 1864, however, it became the first ship to be sunk in combat by a submarine. The USS Housatonic was built in Charleston, Massachusetts and named for the Housatonic River, which flows through Massachusetts and Connecticut. She had three sister ships, the USS at Irondack, USS Ossipee, and USS Juniata. Upon her completion, she was sent to join the South Atlantic Blockading Squadron in Charleston, South Carolina. The first missions for the Housatonic were rousing successes. In January 1863, she took part in the capture of the USS Princess Royal, a British blockade runner loaded with supplies for the Confederate Army. The imports, which consisted of ammunition and ordnance, were later called the war's most important single cargo of contraband. The Housatonic next took part in the capture of the SS Georgiana. This action again prevented valuable supplies from reaching the Confederates. The Georgiana was loaded with over $1 million in munitions, medicine, and merchandise. In the midst of the Civil War, the Confederates offered bounties of up to $50,000 to anyone who could sink a Union warship. Horace Lawson Hunley, a New Orleans-based lawyer, was up for this challenge. He developed submarine prototypes with his partners, and his third attempt caught the eye of the Confederate Army. The submarine was built and presented to General P.G.T. Beauregard in July 1863. The Confederates found themselves to be impressed. The early results, however, were not all that promising. Five of the original crew members died during early testing when a wake washed over the top of the submarine. Four others on board the submarine would survive that incident. A new crew was organized and Hunley himself decided to captain them. The vessel again sank, and this time, all of the crew members died, including Hunley. Still, the submarine was raised and a mission planned. On the evening of February 17, 1864, the Housatonic was sitting in her station in the blockade. Robert Fleming Jr., a landsman on board, spotted an object coming toward the vessel from about 100 yards away. The H.L. Hunley operated with the spar torpedo a weapon consisting of a bomb placed at the end of a long pole, or spar, and attached to a boat. The weapon is used by running the end of the spar into the enemy ship. Spar torpedoes were often equipped with a barbed spear at the end so that they would stick to the wooden holes. There, a fuse would then be used to detonate them. The Housatonic and her captain, George Pickering, had little time to react. Before they knew it, the spar torpedo was on the starboard side of the ship. She rapidly began to sink, becoming the victim of the first successful submarine attack in history. The majority of the sailors on board were able to escape in a lifeboat or by using broken parts of the ship as flotation devices. They would later be rescued by other individuals in the blockading force. Two officers and three men would die from the USS Housatonic. While the H.L. Hunley was able to accomplish her objective, the celebration didn't last long. Stories differ as to how long it took to happen, but the submarine sunk soon after the attack. This would kill all eight of her crew members. The theories behind why the submarine sank varied for many years. Some believe that the USS Canandaigua may have rammed the H.L. Hunley on her way to rescue sailors from the Housatonic. Others thought that one of the Housatonic's crew members may have gotten a shot off with a rifle. In 2013, archaeologists discovered evidence that the H.L. Hunley was less than 20 feet from the torpedo that blew through the Housatonic. The blowback from the detonation is almost certainly what damaged the submarine and caused it to sink. Although the Hunley sank itself, its mission can be considered a success. It made history as becoming the first submarine to sink an enemy vessel. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe for more content.